What is going on guys? Welcome back to CTS Gaming and today I have a video for you that you're gonna love but first I want you to go ahead and smash that subscribe button, punch the like button, tap the bell notification and comment below. Also follow me on Twitch, Joseph Corey. That's my real name. I'm Corey. Also guys check me out on Facebook, CTS Games as I stream to Twitch, Facebook and YouTube. Be sure to check out those channels, tap the bell notifications there as well, and we're going to dive right into the content. So, you know, there's a lot of guns that people have been talking about in Call of Duty Modern Warfare, specifically for Warzone, one of which is the Kilo, the other is the Growl, the MP5. There's just endless videos on these guns and which one is the best. But after using all of them in Warzone, I will agree that the Growl is good, MP5 is also good, the Bruin was good before they nerfed it, as pretty much was the same thing for the Growl. They pretty much turned it into a hot marshmallow gun but I will tell you a gun that packs a heavy punch and it hits just about as hard as Kimbo Slice. Now, unlike the Growl, it's not shooting marshmallows. In fact, it smashes everybody more like Khabib Nurmagomedov. Let's think of it like that. This gun just smashes and it shoots like a laser beam. Legitimately, it's like you're pointing a laser beam at somebody, pulling the trigger, and it's just like a line of bullets that's going right into your enemy. Don't you want something like that for Warzone? I know I do. Well, I'm gonna tell you guys exactly how you're gonna set up this gun and use it in Warzone like a laser beam. In fact, going forward, we're not going to call this the Ram 7. We're going to call it Khabib because it smashes everybody. And I'm not kidding you. Once you pull the trigger on this gun and unload the 60 round magazine into somebody's face, every bullet's going to hit their face, even at 75 or 100 meters away. It's insane. It drops people like a bad habit. I was using the Grau somewhat recently, and it does feel nerfed on range and accuracy quite a bit actually any more than 50 meters away and it feels like i am kind of throwing pillows at my enemies and that's kind of a big no-no if you want to get kills and you know of course win in war zone so infinity ward nerfed the growl now it shoots marshmallows then they take the bruin which is like this manly manly gun that's shooting these big huge bullets at people and just shredding them apart and now it's like shooting a nerf gun at everybody okay guys so here we are right here on the snapdragon or the ram 7 mine just has the trade surrounds in a different skin but the same gun nonetheless and we're going to go ahead first and we're going to talk about the monolithic suppressor this is the one you want for warzone if you're playing team deathmatch hardcore it really doesn't matter you can go with a compensator and get some more recoil control but the monolithic suppressor is the way to go for the warzone setup that is going to be very important to not only range but also sound suppression okay guys and the next thing you're going to need to run is the fss ranger of course the fss ranger is going to give you the most damage range bullet velocity and recoil control as you guys can see the stats right there on the screen just bloody fantastic it's like a laser beam i am telling you the only thing you're losing with this is the aim down the sight speed and movement speed but it's not that drastic especially for warzone you could still run this in team deathmatch and it's not going to be that slow either in fact i do it all the time so you're really going to benefit from the fss ranger if you truly want some more run and gun ability you could use the forge tack eclipse However, it's just not going to give you the stability or the range. So you're going to definitely want to use the FSS Ranger. We're going to go ahead and skip the laser and we're going to skip the optic. Believe me, you do not need an optic on this gun. The iron sights in this gun are practically perfect. And not only that, it's like a laser beam. You do not need an optic at all. Next, we're going to go over to the stock and you guys can see here, you want the F-TAC Equilibrium. You can see by the rest of them here, it's going to give you the most accuracy and control. Now, as you guys can see, it will slow your aim walking movement speed down and that may be a negative for you in war zone but trust me on this one 100 you are going to thank me later because of how stable the gun is it's going to be like a laser beam remember that's going to shoot every bullet in the same spot so it's definitely worth the trade-off the next thing we're going to do we're going to skip perk and the rear grip next we go along to the 50 round magazine and i can tell you you definitely need this because you know there's times where someone comes up on you after you've downed someone and you need to down somebody else or maybe it's even quicker you're downing them both at the same time and you just need enough bullets to do it well on average you're going to go through 15 to 20 bullets per person so this 50 round mag is going to ensure a team wipe in duos and definitely give you some extra room if you're in trios if you're in solos or duos and you put someone down and you don't have to put anybody else down and you want to finish them this will give you enough bullets to finish them off without having to reload, which is a waste of time. And going with a smaller magazine is definitely going to slow you down in war zone. Now, this, of course, is reducing your aim down the sight speed and your movement speed, which really sucks. I know. I get it. 
aim down sight speed is very important and so is movement speed however it's really not that drastic and still yet again worth the trade-off the next mod we're going to put on this gun is going to be the under barrel now you have two options really you have the ranger foregrip or you have the commando foregrip commando foregrip is going to stabilize your shots over time just a little bit better but you're going to lose the accuracy so you're going to have a little bit better control but the bullets are not all going to be as accurate although it's really negligible if you look at the accuracy and the range but if you want the absolute most range and most recoil control and aiming stability the ranger foregrip is the way to go okay and of course it's going to have negatives against the aim down the sight speed and aim walking movement speed so at this point we have two attachments that have given us a negative and aim walking movement speed so it's going to be a little slower side to side however the aim down the sight speed we now have three strikes against us so when we aim down the sights it's going to be a little slow as well it's not drastic but you will notice it as well as the movement speed but believe me the gun is so stable and has so many bullets it's going to be perfect for your close to mid-range combat as long as you're not having to run and gun through a room you're gonna have to perfect your hip firing but i can promise you guys you are going to love this gun let me just get out of here show you what the gun looks like and show you how it performs because it is like a laser beam here is some action as i'm using the ram 7 in warzone you can see it's just mowing everybody down it's like khabib Nurmagomedov. i'm just smashing everybody's face with this gun literally and figuratively every Everybody is just getting hammered by this gun. In Warzone, I am rounding up all kinds of kills. 10 kills a game, practically. The gun just hits so hard and accurate. Like I said, it's like a laser beam. It's almost like this gun was refined and made by someone at Star Wars Enterprises. But it just is amazing to use in Warzone. You can see here, I'm just lighting people up 100 meters plus away easily and this gun does not disappoint there's times where i'm shooting one guy and downing him and i move to the next guy he goes down it's a team wipe and i still have some bullets left in the magazine to hit somebody else before i reload it's just perfect and is the best setup for warzone but not only that it also hits super hard in team deathmatch it's just crazy look at the damage that this gun is causing this gun will not disappoint it is the best gun, no doubt, for Warzone or Team Deathmatch in Season 5 for accuracy, damage, and range. And we call that time to kill. This has got the fastest time to kill in Warzone, period. The gun is just great. All the smashing and laser beams to the face. No more marshmallow brow and no more pillow fighting nerf gun brewing. Punching through everybody's face with this pounding laser beam. And I really hope you guys try this gun out in this loadout. You can't go wrong. It's the best gun in Season 5. Well, that's going to do it, guys. I really appreciate you stopping and watching the stream. Be sure to follow me and like on Facebook, CTS Games. Follow me over on Twitch, Joseph Corey. I am Corey. And of course, subscribe to me right here on YouTube, CTS Gaming. Take care, be safe, enjoy your summer, and I'll see all of you guys on the next uploader stream. Peace.